All right. Let's move forward with the uh, output shaft assembly. Eh? Uh, basically, you have to reverse the process. This is the first step of all the reassemble procedure for the output shaft. You take your gear with the selector or with the engagement. Okay. Uh, you replace the needle bearing inside here. Very simple. Just a second. This is the print so far, like that. We are here after the shoulder. So you have a needle bearing, you insert the needle bearing inside the gear, you insert the needle bearing inside the gear. Then you have a spline shaft, you have a spline shaft, then you have synchronizer ring number one, the mid rates. A synchronizer ring number two that is still part of the same uh, assembly then is located right here then you have your uh, synchronizer ring the big one with the three springs let me see if i can see one two and three as i mentioned before before taking this gentleman apart uh, you have you must mark on the ring the location of the three springs so if that everything is okay the springs are still over there if in case you separate these two items by accident it's not a big deal just pay attention when you relocate it to replace your springs in the same spot and reset those two together keeping the spring in the middle of the gap maybe here you can see better uh, let me see sorry or not yeah right here you can see the springs in the middle of the gap same thing here same thing to the opposite guy over there okay so that should be all right now pay attention of the direction of your uh, selector you see this little shoulder and here you have a chamfer if you were good before uh, you respect the order when you were marking so i mean going this way because you were making picture facing from the front your paint is going to face you and everything is going to be okay one after another so let's recap it resume this procedure you have the gears the needle bearing inside the selector ring i'm sorry uh synchronizer ring one interface synchronizer ring number two the physical shifter or engager with this synchronizer i don't know how it's called in english but you guys understand uh new uh needle bearing bushing uh, if it is not completely wear off or it doesn't have any nasty uh, mark you can reuse the old one the outer uh, synchronizer ring this um, uh, bearing or needle bearing then it goes on top of this gentleman inside this gear or to make it simple let's take a look at the print this is this this assembly is this assembly the ring is the ring the inner part is this guy we rotate maybe you see better this guy the ring is this red the bearing is this yellow one okay good then you have a synchronizer oh, sorry i may say going back and forth the synchronizer is the synchronizer okay now this gear is this gear right there okay so we got one two three four five six seven eight items we got one two 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight islands. Okay? How to put it together? Very simple, just by finger. Pay attention of uh, the synchro. The synchro comb already pre-assembled is very easy. It has a caution that you have to take when you put it back together. Uh, just clean it and put some uh, oil, not uh, just regular light oil or whenever, just for assembly procedure, and put it back together. I separate it just for pur uh, assembly purposes and show in the video to you guys. So basically, I don't know if I can do by one end, but I want to pay attention to you. You see these guys? This guy goes inside the hole here in the gear. Okay, let me put it together and then I share with you. Just a second. Yeah, so here we go again. You see this? This is the final result of how it looks like. Very simple, the inner synchro ring together with the middle sleeve or intermediate sleeve and the outer ring. It goes together. Now, we take this gentleman nice and easy I will just put it I hope to be able there we go so I'm on that from here okay. put it inside the hole right there there we go like that Ha, 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 ha.